I spell coming back on the 18th over. Yeah, you know, um, you, our bowlers did a great job first of all, you know, uh, great work from the whole bowling unit. Uh, they restricted, you know, Bangladesh, they kept taking wickets in India. Uh, the captain, you know, told me just stay ready, stay ready, it's going to come down to the wire. So that's what I did, I stayed warm. I, I knew uh, I will be trying to come in to bowl 18th or 20th over or maybe 17th and 19th depending on the situation. So yeah, just the over before captain told me to be ready and uh, right before that over we got a breakthrough. That wicket just before you came on that Shadley took to end his spell, seeing the way Harmeet celebrated, it seemed like there was a big shift in energy in the field. It just seemed like suddenly you guys really started to believe it was kind of a evenly balanced match to that stage, but that wicket making it 124 for six. They still needed 21 off 18 with four wickets in hand, which shouldn't be too difficult, all things considered, but just the way he celebrated it, it's, you could sense there was a, an attitude shift and an energy shift, at least from the boundary. Did you feel that out in the middle? Yeah, definitely, you know, uh, we kept taking wickets and you know, it, it keeps bringing back the energy to our players and of course a lot of support, there was a lot of support out on the field, of course, as you mentioned, Army, and uh, Captain and, you know, Shadley, Corey, Rose, you know, all the, all the senior players were there and uh, everybody kept supporting the bowlers and whoever was coming on to bowl, they knew that you know all the players have their back, and uh, that puts, gives you more confidence. And uh, I think we played as a unit, and we showed showed that what we can do if we play, play with one team. And just the number of wickets chopped on. You got Shakib chopped on. There, there are I, I counted I think five or six wickets chopped on today. It seemed like the, the ball wasn't quite coming onto the bat. What did you feel was the right wing to bowl to be successful on this wicket? Yeah, I think definitely the wicket got slower and slower, and. Uh, they were expecting me to go with pace and that's why I think they threw their bat up and that's what happened to get the inside edge to uh, with Shakib. But the plan was to make them hit on the bigger, I mean against the wind which was the offside for Shakib and I tried to throw the first ball uh, away from him and he tried to drag it on and I think uh, it helped me to get that. And what does it mean, just big picture, what does it mean for you, can you grasp in the moment what it means to you to beat Bangladesh in a series, not just uh, win today, but a series victory and what it means for you personally and for the team as a whole? Yeah, I mean it's, it's massive. You know? games like this and in the series like this, uh, individual performances count as well and especially as a team, this shows the world what we can do if we have given the opportunities and uh, if you just keep playing you know, at, at this uh, associate level or lower level, you, you're just going to stay there. But if you have more opportunities to play against bigger sides, top 10 teams, you know, uh, there's definitely ways of uh, doing an upset and uh, this, this is a clear picture of that and I think definitely associate cricket should be given more opportunities against the full member that will help us showcase our talent and what we have uh, to show the world. Uh, so the last game wasn't uh, according to the usual high standards. Uh, was there something in particular uh, that spurred you on to perform the way you did at, at, at such crunch moment? Yeah, Off the field or on the field? Yeah, I mean it was my uh, you know, first game back after three months. Uh, I was coming back from a major injury and uh, sometime you need time out in the middle to get back into, into rhythm and uh, it was just, just for me it was for me to just go out and you know just get used to the conditions. Of course, I didn't go the way I would have liked. Uh, usually, you know, I don't go through that many runs. But uh, you know, it was just again as I said, it was, it was my first game back. It's no excuse. It was just like trying to get used to the conditions. And uh, what I learned from that game, I tried to implement in this game. And it's just a process. You know, you just gotta uh, you just gotta learn and you gotta adapt to the conditions as fast as you can. You know, World Cup is coming up, so we don't have much time. Uh, I don't have much time because I need to get back into the core rhythm. I still have a lot of important work to be done uh, for myself. Uh, those guys have been playing, you know, they had a good series against Canada, which I unfortunately missed. But yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. I felt good out there today as well. We're just going to take it day by day and, uh, you know, uh, just really looking forward to the World Cup and getting my rhythm and momentum and fully ready for the World Cup. Just the world. And, uh, you know, you always kind of won the big moments. What is it about you and the big moments? Why do you, I mean, what, what is it about your, is, is that your body language, is that your mindset? Take us to your mindset. I think I, I think I like my role really well, wherever I go and play, the, which is to go in the death and there's always pressure when you go to, you know, in the power play and death and I think this is my strength and I like to take that challenge and I like to take the responsibility if, uh, if there's, you know, in this situation I would go to the captain and ask for the ball because I know, I know, in, I believe in myself and I know in my ability on my day, you know, I can definitely back myself and uh, get, try to get the win and uh, thank God, uh, thanks to Allah, 
that you know today the performance came well and we win the series. And I'll go for the final question. Uh, you guys look like a, look like a pack of wolves over here. You know, looking to dominate every ball, looking to dominate every moment. What's the energy like in the dressing room, especially after this win? Oh yeah, I mean we are hungry. We are just hungry, and we're gonna you know try to eat whatever comes in our way. Uh, especially you know this is uh, this is a time where we can you know make some changes and try to adjust what we can, small little things. But I think uh, the team looks really balanced. Uh, all the guys are hungry, as I said, and we are really looking forward to the World Cup, and I'm sure. Uh, you know, USA will be there to do an upset. Ali, uh, you're playing the World Cup at home and you've just beaten Test Nation for the first time in the series. Uh, how big of uh, is this result uh, to send the message ahead of the World Cup? Not for just for USA, but for the whole associate cricket. Oh, it's massive because, uh, as I said, you know, we need to put USA out there in the World Cricket map and uh, this is a pure example. And uh, it's not just that we earned it. You know, sometimes you get a win against a big side, there's a horse of fluke. But beating them twice, back-to-back, -back, winning the series is not a fluke. That means we have talent. We have skills and we have the ability if we are given the opportunity. The, the squad we see is different from what we used to see in the past. Uh, you've got more experienced guys now in the team. How do you see yourself uh, challenging in the World Cup with uh, India and Pakistan in the same group? Yeah, definitely. You know, World Cup is a different ball game. This is just a, you know building up towards the World Cup. And uh, as I said earlier, we are really capable of doing an upset. And of course, we are really looking forward to it. But we are not thinking about India and Pakistan right now. We are still thinking about. This next game, then we have two warm-up games before the World Cup, then we have our opening game, which is the most important game for us. We want to you know, start off the World Cup with a win against Canada. Uh, for us, that's bigger than Pakistan-India game. You know, for the world, it's bigger than Pakistan-India, but for us, it's against Canada. So we want to get that win first, and then we take on Pakistan after, and then we think about India. You're playing against Nepal in the Grand Prairie, where you'll be playing the first World Cup match as well. Is, will that be an advantage for you, that uh, you'll know the environment better? Yeah, definitely. Going into Grand Prairie, we have two games there, and uh, that will definitely give us, uh, you know, some advantage to us uh, before the first game. It will help guys to get used to the conditions in the field. Alright, two more. Okay. This year's a good one. Where does this uh, performance for you personally, that does feel, where does it rank for you amongst your best performances for USA? I think it has to be up there, but uh, I think uh, it's still... Uh, Job not done yet. Uh, it's just, I would say, another performance, and I'm really happy that I helped the team. Uh, it would be up there, but I wouldn't say it was my best performance because I still feel like there's a lot of improvement and there's a lot more that I can do uh, better than this performance. Anything else? Good to go. Thank you, Ali. Thank you.